when you talk about organizational excellence how i relate to it is organizational excellence means excellence of people in the organization everybody can buy technology uh, systems processes but i think people are the entities me, which make two organizations different one organization same kind of technology same business but one is prospering other is not the key difference is the people and what meditation brings what i have found through practicing is what meditation brings is a focus a positive transformation and excellence in individuals i think this this subtle change suddenly the changes the whole paradigm of how an organization can grow and work the bottom line improves so drastically just because of that just see from a perspective today if somebody is a meditator and what we see in organizations that people have greed for power greed for money greed like they are competing with each other instead of competing with themselves they don't like anybody else progressing in the organizations so all of this today if you read four agreements two of the agreements is that you don't take things personally and don't make assumptions in our when in our day to day life we always keep assumptions or oh, this person is there if i give him work he'll give do 50% right he'll do 80% right he will anyway don't will never give work in time so it's all our assumptions and just because of these assumptions we are not assigning tasks to somebody who can deliver on lunch table we were discussing that uh, for uh, some people who are uh, not able they were given to perform on stage as fashion show and then after that suddenly the life of those women changes changed the husbands could not recognize yes you were saying ma'am so this is how when you give opportunity and don't assume then it changes the life of people and i really adopted it in my organization while definitely earlier also i was not assuming lot of things but there were few people who were never giving work on time so i knew that if i give him he will not give it in time i have to follow up but now i said no i'll not follow up he will give me in my mind i assumed that he will give me the work and believe me it started happening he was he was giving me work on time the the point is that we say that okay let's go for six sigma let's go for this but ultimately people it's the people who have to deliver work and we all talk about growth numbers targets but do we know that these people who are there as part of your organizations are committed to deliver so you say okay these people will not work will incentivize them fully 100% but fine but you know in incentivization also nitin ji will talk about it and i was discussing with him the evening if the management has positive mindset on giving in incentives people perform and if you have a negative mindset that oh i will give incentive only when the targets are set which are never achievable then suddenly people say management is not with us so i think when we talk about organizational excellence this is what is most important is if it changes the mindset and then chandra ji and i like chandra ji <coughs> i took to lot of companies in and around delhi like i am a consultant in a garment textile factory so we do lot of strategy business transformation work where we go on floor and do business transformation in companies productivity improvement efficiency improvement in factories and i can tell you while people will give us money because we have knowledge 30% of work is knowledge 70% of work is people management earlier when we were doing people management i thought so though is it recent not that i have implemented completely in business transformation assignments that we were doing we went to factories and let them experience meditation i can tell you it brings a lot of people were coming to us and asking us what are you are saying can it happen so they were not believing it and what 
when when they went into meditation and then they interacted between two individuals they were not talking about competing otherwise people will say sir i will do your work but you know this person will never help it believe me what you are saying can never happen so 70% of my task became easier just because of that you know when we go to for business transformation we help them teach new systems and first thing which comes to my mind i have been working here for 20 years i have learned certain things now these consultants have come they will teach us something our 20 years of experience will become zero the feeling of insecurity is so much deep imbibed that it becomes very very difficult to make them work in the systems you want to make them work so my business transformation assignment is almost around a year while if everybody is like not competing and they are co cooperating with each other it can finish in 3 months so the company pays us for 12 months instead of 3 months because we have to bring transformation in people and when we were talking about policy making and you know when chandra ji was discussing with us and <coughs> we discussed and we went to corporates i think the key is all of this can only happen if people really really focus so sometimes we always talk about sometimes in meditation we talk about spirituality only so is is spiritual scientific way of meditation i think this is what chandra ji always talk about it's not spiritual only is spiritual scientific way of meditating no because this science brings growth brings excellence in individual then in company then in society and then to the world everything is interlinked that way and believe me again i am repeating that i got associated with this only with the perspective because we been consulting into corporates and i see a lot of challenge i have delivered projects in 40 countries and i see if i go to uh, vietnam the people are more focused if i go to turkey they are more focused but india they are people are more intelligent than them but the focus is not there they are into so many things so our garment factories efficiency in india are suppose around 50% in bangladesh will be 60% in vietnam will be 70% so this is the level and if like today if we finance minister modi ji talked about 2047 india needs to be 30 trillion dollar economy gdp of 30 trillion dollar so with this i think all of this of manufacturing excellence can only happen through real focus on meditation so that indian manufacturing becomes focus on excellence and grow further with this we will run a video which will talk about manufacturing excellence and then we will hear experiences from my co-panelist can we have the video please organizations are essentially people who are working together, together for a particular, for particular purpose. purpose in the current world the purpose of organizations is to become profitable innovative and sustainable stress burnout situations toxic workplace culture fixed mindsets and disengaged teams are the most common workplace challenges while the common practice of such conflict resolution is communication and training a new age approach for effective results is through meditation through meditation one can rewire the brain to a deeper sense of understanding fostering resilience clarity in purpose and intent it optimizes cognitive functions leading to enhanced well-being joy and success Fortune 500 companies adopting meditation programs reported a 25% boost in employee productivity. A study published by Sarah W. Laser suggests that long-term meditation increases the gray matter of the brain, linked to emotional regulation and self-awareness. According to regular studies carried out by Buddha CEO, in just three weeks of daily practice, 85% of the practitioners are becoming growth-minded and intuitive. In Hyderabad, Telugu Foods Company was significantly led by its CEO Ramesh Muva after he took to meditation. His evolution from a traditional CEO to a Buddha CEO unfolds through daily meditation, sparking a shift in his once rigid mindset to a more friendly and open mindset. 
colleagues i have been doing personally and also uh, majority of my colleagues in especially in the head office uh, they are doing daily uh, the decisions also uh, which i used to take a few hours and a few days now it's happening in a few minutes and they are very appropriate decisions are flowing out of me in the entrepreneurial landscape of bengaluru india lata shrinivasan founder of a struggling msme business that was on the verge of closure turned to meditation and discovered the fortitude to persevere with daily practice lata unlocked new strategies that breathed life into her startup and put it on a growth path again a lot of things started to fall in place uh, things that you know if i wait if i had a question for somehow or the other i would get an answer when i was meditating but it was happening at a very unconscious subconscious level and when i acted on it it, it actually became it was the right action at that particular point in time in the fast paced corporate landscape dr sai krupa sagar a former vice president in an mnc based in bengaluru not only experienced a fast track career growth but also aligned with his life purpose to do fulfilling meditation service and leads a meditation app company dr sai attributes all of this to his meditation practice and wisdom i joined as a assistant project manager in 2003 and i got got promoted to vice president in the year 2015 so that was around 12 to 13 levels of promotions within a span of 15 years all those rewards all those fast track growth was due to this practice of meditation maheshwar reddy from kadappa andhra pradesh india once a small chicken shop owner in a second tier village started meditation and soon he closed down his shop realizing the harm he was causing to animal lives he was guided through meditation to start a real estate business and now his business is thriving meditation helps him to make better decisions in an unstable real estate world naku aa tarvata nenu real estate vyaparam like start chesa ఆ వ్యాపారంలో వచ్చే సమస్యలు అయితేనేమి ఆ గొడవలు అయితేనేమి ఆ ఉన్నటువంటి వ్యాపారం పడిపోతుంది బాగా లాభాలు వస్తాయి మళ్ళీ పడిపోతుంది ఆ పడిపోయినప్పుడు వచ్చే నష్టాలను భరించడం అయితేనేమి అది చాలా సులభం అయిపోయింది నాకు ఈ ధ్యానంలోకి వచ్చిన తర్వాత ఇన్ ద క్వైట్ రియన్స్ ఆఫ్ అనకాపల్లి ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఇండియా అనిల్ దేవత ఆ డీలర్ ఆఫ్ అ పాపులర్ జెన్ సెట్ కంపెనీ ఫౌండ్ ద కీ టు హిస్ సక్సెస్ అండ్ ఫుల్ఫిల్మెంట్ For the past 3 years he has been practicing meditation and introduced it to his staff. Today Anil is proud of the business growth and the contagious joy among his employees and attributes it all to meditation. This mindfulness routine has really strengthened our team making us more coordinated and understanding. It also played a major part in growth of my business. In this journey I discovered abundance in nurturing a positive competitive spirit. in my business this mindset not only brings valuable results to my business but also play a vital role in building meaningful business relations chandra pulamara setty the visionary force behind buddha ceo quantum foundation is a steadfast believer in the transformative power of meditation drawing inspiration from the teachings of patri ji his entrepreneurial journey reflects not only the successful acquisition of sanovi business by ibm corporation but also the profound impact that meditation has had on chandra's leadership philosophy was well, always a challenge at least from the outer outer world perspective but meditation my regular practice of meditation my belief in the quantum field of possibilities and potentials and my belief that 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 what you think and feel can absolutely manifest help me to continue to stay and persevere the whole process of running the company and then pursuing acquisition every ceo should be a buddha and only buddhas can be ceos before you become a ceo you must know everything about everything that is the definition and you will know everything about everything only through meditation in the journey of life where our mind orchestrates our being meditation acts as a great process to unlock our infinite potential these case studies have echoed the scientific findings that reveal a positive impact on organizational growth the widespread adoption of meditation by individuals communities and nations will lead to an accelerated achievement of the un's sustainable development goals as inner transformation takes place in everyone You can introduce meditation into your organizations and communities with the help of Project Excellence Center 
and its resolution including assistance in scientific meditation training. Reach out to us at excellence at buddhaceo.org. Ramesh ji, you were already there in the video and we saw your message in the transformation. Can you share some of your experience that how, uh, what you did, how it helped you? Uh, let's, let's understand. Yes, I'll just experience. try to set it up. Hello. <clears throat> yeah, good afternoon and good evening to all. Uh, earlier I was, uh, since 1993, I've been working till 2011 uh, in corporate world. That time I was doing only a part of the functional area, there's international marketing. So, which I was excelling, I thought I was on top of the world and I was most successful. 2011, when I started my enterprise, um, like totally dominated by my thoughts, emotions. I was not knowing who I was. I thought my thoughts are I, I was. Whatever story made out, out of my thoughts or what others think of me is me. Then with that, I started business. I went into ups and downs like in any business. Then I used to have a lot of shoulder pains and all that sort of things. Then I was not knowing where I have to go for answers. If I had a lot of challenges or downs and hits, I used to run that thought for a few days, few weeks and go through the health problems and uh, deep negative thinkings and all that. Then slowly I got into yoga, then I got into uh, different kinds of meditations and uh, since 2020 ending, I think, I started uh, practicing Buddha CEO Chandrasar's meditation. And then I started reading a lot of books. So now, if I look back all that, all, now if I look back and 13 years ago how I suffered to today, multiplied problems I am facing. The magnitude of problems of what I was facing 13 years ago is maybe 100 times, 200 times. But still I am very calm, things are flowing more happily and uh, I am walking like all possible energy. I, I tell the same thing to my colleagues also. So, I have all the capabilities to face any problems. And that's happening. It's not just I'm telling theoretically because I have 600 people working in my organization. We are present in 24 countries, including South India and all that. So, there are a lot of things keep coming up. So, I'm able to face with equanimity and all the challenges the related answers and ideas and guidance is coming from within. So now I have started dividing my life into two, like any one of you also can see. Now I found the treasure where I can get answers for my challenges, for my complexities. That is my energy within my body. It's not elsewhere. It is with, just within my body, which I was not knowing 12 to 13 years ago. Now I know it fully. So even few weeks ago I had lots of challenges. That time what I am doing, the thoughts are coming. When I got up in the morning, when I started doing meditation, I tell myself that I divide into primary and secondary. The primary is, I, like every one of you is conceived as an energy in mother's womb, then gained some weight, came out of mother's womb. Everything we put into the body, it's becoming our body. Then we educated, we got a name, degrees, profession. So we derive our entire identity and uh, who you are from that and we forgot the origin, we forgot the essence. So the, the essence, I call it as a primary, the second is what we have gathered through the society, through the mind, through the degrees, through the profession, what you do in the society and all that. That's what you thought you are entirety of 99%. We just forgot the, where it started. So now if I face any problem, I, I do like this. So before this problem, before this idea, before this personality, before this education, prior to this education, prior to this body, who am I? I am that energy. So let me go back to that energy and feel that energy, become one with that energy and all my desires, intents will be supported, enabled from that energy. So how do I do it? Anapanasati meditation. So I start with the being with the breath, slowly I feel the animation and sensations happening within my body, I become one with it. Again thoughts will come, so I keep doing same thing. So go to the primary, primary will enable enormous indefinite 
unlimited possibilities out of you. That is my experience. That's how I am handling all my enterprise and family life and social life. So I always go back. Let me be with the primary. Secondary will be enabled with effortlessly. Be with the primary. That's energy. The secondary of your doing, your challenges, your problems, your desires, intents, all that will be enabled effortlessly. That's what I'm following, that I keep practicing. And in the organization, as Prashanthji was saying, I was very judgmental because I was performing better than 13 years ago. In my colleagues, I used to judge him. He is dumb and he is, uh, I mean, he's a time waster, that, this and all. I used to put labels to the, my colleagues. And uh, I hardly used to deal with them at a human being level, only at the surface level. So he did not do, so I don't, I don't go beyond that. So he's a non-performer. Uh, is a, uh, whatever, I mean, we keep putting in so many labels in the organization, no? And um, he, he's a bluffer, he's an actor, that this and all kind of things. So I used to deal with that person at that level, I missed the essence of what he is beyond that. Now in the organization, what I'm doing, you know, my autopilot still is working on me because 40 years I worked with that patterns and behaviors that still works on me, but that, that, uh, the intensity and degree got reduced to single digit or whatever. It was it used to be ninety five percent I used to judge, but now it is hardly ten percent. So even if today or yesterday I was dealing with some problems in my office, I tell them, You are a possibility. Say Prashant, say for example, Prashant, you're not doing this, but you are a possibility. Don't operate from your thoughts and uh, excuses and patterns how you have been behaving. You are a possibility. Operate from possibility, operate from potentiality, you'll get that. So that is what I am, that is a whole change in me, but whoever I see, I see every one of you here or everywhere, I see them as a possibility, but it's only that instead of connecting with the possibility, you, you got connected with the mind-made, excuse-driven, reasons-driven, past. Mind always takes you to the past or future, it doesn't tell you to be in the moment. So if you are in the moment, you are a great possibility. So we are identified the moment, we don't even know that, who is making me to go to the past and all that. Now I, I, I clearly know it. My mind is taking me there. So how to disconnect with that? Go with again primary. My secondary, my ideas, everything will fall in place amazingly, effortlessly, with least efforts. So that I am leaving. I got into the taxi from in this, this afternoon uh, from my hotel to here. I just closed my eyes and I was with my primary. So whatever fatigue I had, I landed at 4 o'clock from Dubai and all that. So that fatigue got reduced not fully gone. So like that in everything, I just go to my primary, the secondary is taken care of. So understand, every one of us has a primary, that is the energy which is enabling your body. If I'm speaking to you, what is enabling me? If that energy is not there, the body falls off, my, my so-called name, fame, everything falls off. So that is the infinite energy, pure energy, anything possible energy, which is there within your body. Please, how to find that? It's not as easy as I'm saying. You have to practice meditation, that is, be with your breath, slowly you'll be able to taste it, enjoy it, and go with that. And also I keep questioning sometimes, I mean, who is enabling my body, right? Who is enabling me to see? Who is enabling me to digest my food, which I put now into the body tomorrow? So, if you learn more of that, if you think more of that, it's all happening from within. Such a wonderful, all possible God energy or quantum field, whatever we name it, that is there within us. The other things I want to say. Thank, thank you, sir. thank you, wow, Ramesh So I think it's a lot of inspiration from there. Definitely, I saw two things clearly that challenges can come and go in life. What you are saying, meditation makes you stronger to face those challenges. Yep. And second, that everybody, everything, every situation you face is a possibility. You can convert that possibility in growth, in anything that you want to convert. Thanks Ramesh ji for these inputs. With this, I will go to Lawrence, who is one of the, who is also one of the founders of Buddha CEO. She is at this moment in France. Uh, uh, sorry to keep you waiting, but now we would like to hear from you, from your experiences. Lawrence, over to you. Yeah, thanks a lot and uh, hello to everyone. Uh, wonderful to be uh, to be here, uh, feeling the energy 
<laughs> traveling from uh, from Delhi um, to France. So my experience started in uh, 2016 as I was doing a business acquisition in India in Bangalore. And actually, I was very lucky because the CEO of this company was uh, Chandra. And um, I followed his advice about how to meditate and do breath meditation. But I was not very aware of everything, you know, immediately. The things I felt as a, you know, senior executive uh, gave me, as we just said, a lot of energy. And uh, so I could work long, long hours. And um, it gave me also the strength to take more risk. We needed a new strategy, but at the same time, I was feeling, you know, a lack of confidence initially that um, I was able to actually achieve it within the context of IBM, which is, you know, driven financially <laughs> very strongly. And I was afraid that I could lose my badge if I missed. So this beginning of meditation gave me a lot of strength. Uh, at the same time, calmness and clarity and a sort of vision of uh, what we could do. And with that, as we were looking for a new strategy, um, I was ready to fight uh, when I found uh, this company in India and to fight again any resistance from the senior management. You can imagine you are uh, in New York in a corporate headquarter and I'm coming with a company based in Bangalore full India, and I'm saying, you know, I, I need this software company, um, and uh, this is key for our strategy. We were a few billion dollar business, and, um, and yes, it's far away, everybody's in India, but we can do it. So I was able, thanks to meditation and the, I would say, the support of uh, Chandra, energy himself, and the PSSM also uh, uh, leaders and masters who were, you know, around me when I was in India, to keep going and face any resistance and overcome any resistance. That's the famous energy that we just uh, heard about. That was, uh, you know, going back to what I, what I can do, what I feel I should do. Uh, I had to uh, go in India. I had to acquire this company. This was key for the business. And this resonated, uh, you know, of course, around me, uh, around me with my team, with my leadership team. We, um, did this acquisition and um, actually right away started to use uh, and to spread meditation. I was so convinced it was so beneficial for, for my health, for my energy, uh, for my um, clarity of decision making. And um, the stress level was going down. I had uh, less need of sleeping and so on. So I wanted to share this right away. We need we needed to do that because you know doing an acquisition is you know um, making two teams you know merge successfully, uh, willing to work together even if uh, leaders were in New York, uh, new leaders were in Bangalore. We needed something to make sure the merge was uh, would work uh, fine, that there would be a true inclusiveness, you know, not just on paper, not just word, but inclusiveness means, uh, you know, invited everybody to, to dance on the same floor for the same objective that uh, meditation brought this to us. I, I would say meditation and, of course, mindfulness. Patriji was used to say, you know, meditation is one uh, wing of a bird and mindfulness is the other one that you use, uh, you know, every day. It had immediate impact on how I was managing um, and also how the leaders around me were managing. We had more, you know, ownership, sense of ownership, because the clarity of the goal, which was, you know, a very challenging goal that we had to achieve financially, you know, we could have said, wow, it's going to be very difficult, but we were more motivated. We wanted to demonstrate that thanks to the spirit, the team spirit, the family spirit we was, we were bringing into the, this new, uh, this new adventure would bring success. Um, I, of course, uh, reused this uh, mindfulness and meditation approach and programs inside my team 
when uh, I, I did also a business unit around cloud migration. And I remember 70% uh, of the team was actually in India to, um, you know, to actually perform the cloud migration uh, activity services. And you know that you know, anything can happen. It's usually over the weekend and so on. So we had to make sure that the expertise in both sides were ready to work together even at 2 a.m. in the morning if there was something, you know, uh, an outage or something going wrong. But I also, um, thanks to the strength of meditation, convinced my management um, that even if 70% of the people um, were in India, there was not a balance on the expertise on both sides. And I wanted to make sure that in New York, the key expertise that we could find in the India team was recognized, was reward, rewarded, was promoted. So I had also to um, use this you know, energy, this fearless uh, capability, this confidence that was inside me thanks to meditation to, uh, to go uh, over all these challenges and being able, for instance, to promote a lot of people in India for very, very key global roles. And it was not the case before. The same on the woman. You know, when I arrived, there was that, you know, I was given a, a large team to work with me in India. There was like maybe less than 2% of women. And uh, because, yeah, we had long hours to work in an unusual timing. It was at night, it was over weekends, you know, when you have to do this kind of migration uh, in the uh, IT uh, organization. So I changed the mindset and, you know, after uh, about a year and a half, we had 20% of uh, women in a team. All of this, you know, came for the strengths of um, the energy, provided by meditation, by mindfulness, by also, thanks to mindfulness, being aware as, you know, you just heard about the uh, unconscious bias. Oh, she's a woman. She cannot work over the weekend. Well, did we ask this woman, is she, she is motivated to work this kind of activity over the weekend? And yes, she is. And yes, she's capable. So this is what, you know, brought... Um, uh, to me, myself, as a, as a leader, and to the team, you know, uh, in few words, because I could talk for hours. And actually, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I am also teaching, uh, you know, through um, a Buddha CEO. The last thing I want to say is when I discovered meditation, I had the help of the PSSN team, of Chandra, um, and it was super helpful. We didn't have at that time, you know, organization like the Buddha CEO. So there was a lot you had to do by yourself, creating the programs and so on. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. But um, at that time, we didn't have this. Now, all of you, you have this available. And, uh, and I, it can scale much more further, you know, as, um, as you start to use people around you and partner with them. So that's what I wanted to share. Thank you. Thank you, Lawrence. And uh, I think uh, you really said it, what we are talking about, organization excellence. So, in organization, we do a lot of activities, whether productivity, whether M&A, growth strategy. So, they are very intense. And as all of us as corporate people, if we do meditation, it becomes easier for us, for us to handle these. Otherwise, it gets so intense sometimes, it looks like it's a big activity, but it's very intensive. Thanks for sharing this, Lawrence. And now I'll go to Nitinji to share his experience in terms of how meditation you are able to put through in your organization. Thank you. Thank you, Prashanji. Uh, I'll speak a bit in English and a uh, few parts in Hindi. So first of all, thank you, Buddha CEO and Quantum Foundation for inviting me to the panel. I don't have so much experience in meditation, so I will talk a little bit about meditation. Ek, jo bhi karunga, I belong to the company as of now, which is Dolakya Ventures, a family office of Hare Krishna Exports. Uh, so we are into diamonds, uh, exporting around 14,000 CR ton over uh, annual. So you will have heard that I am from Surat, so Surat is a company that gives its employees a gift for Diwali. Pe. Uh, 
फ्लैट्स गिफ्ट करती है ज्वेलरी गिफ्ट करती है तो आई बिलोंग टू द फैमिली ऑफिस ऑफ तोड़क्यास तो मैं कुछ वैल्यूज जो यहाँ पे सुबह से डिस्कशन हो रहा है कि मेडिटेशन के थ्रू स्पिरिचुअल स्पिरिचुअल वैल्यूज पे डिपेंडेंट जो एक कंपनी है कि उस उसके बेसिस पे आप कितना ग्रोथ कर सकते हो और क्या क्या पॉलिसीज जो हमने रियली हमारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में इम्प्लीमेंट किए और क्या वे उसके रिजल्ट्स मिले तो आई शेयर सम ऑफ द थिंग्स एंड आई ऑल्सो वर्क इन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ गुजरात सो गवर्नमेंट इन द पब्लिक सर्विसेज भी कैसे मेडिटेशन uh, काम में आ सकता है वो आई डन विपसना मेडिटेशन सो आई फॉलो देट सो आई टॉक अ बीट ऑन देट ऑल्सो तो मैं शेयर करूंगा हमारी कंपनी की पॉलिसी है कि सात सेवन थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉयज नन ऑफ देम इज अलाउड टू चू टॉबेको नन ऑफ देम इज अलाउड टू स्मोक ड्रिंक अगर कोई पकड़ा जाता है तो ही डजेंट गेट वी प्रोवाइड वन करोर वन सी आर लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट अगर कोई टोबेको चुविंग में स्मोकिंग में अगर कोई पकड़ा जाता है तो ही गेट्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सैलरीज गेट्स कट तो फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सैलरी आप सोचोगे तो हमारा एवरेज सैलरी जो है वन लैख ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड पर मंथ है एवरेज एजुकेशन ऑफ द एम्प्लॉ डायमंड पॉलिशर इज टेंथ अप टू टेन टेंथ ग्रेड के ज्यादा कोई पढ़े हुए मोस्टली डायमंड वर्कर्स नहीं है बट स्टील फ्रॉम वी हैव ट्रैवल्ड फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड अ मंथ हमारे चेयरमैन का विजन था सऊजी भाई का कि हम मेरे एम्प्लॉयज एक लाख सैलरी क्यों ना कमाए तो एवरी डे हमारे यहाँ आफ्टरनून पोस्ट लंच थ्री ओ क्लॉक आना पान सती मेडिटेशन होता है पेड कोई भी एम्प्लॉय अगर विपसना शिविर में जाना चाहे तो वी प्रोवाइड पेड टेन डेज लीव तो ये हमारी कंपनी का पॉलिसी है और दूसरा एक बात होती है बिजनेस में कि आप मतलब बिजनेस रिलेशंस के लिए आपको किसी के साथ बैठ के पीना पड़ता है नॉन वेज खाना पड़ता है तो वी डू नॉट अलाउ और आज तक हमारी कंपनी का एक भी पैसा हमने खुद तो ड्रिंकिंग स्मोकिंग इसमें नहीं खर्च किया है लेकिन किसी को एक पैसे का पिलाया भी नहीं है किसी को उसके लिए खर्च भी नहीं किया है तो आज तक चार हजार गाड़ियां गिफ्ट की है विपसना मेडिटे आना पान सती मेडिटेशन हर रोज होता है और मैं एक बात शेयर करूंगा फूड जो वेजिटेरियनिज्म पे हम बातें कर रहे हैं तो उसमें एक इंसिडेंस में कहूंगा अभी मैंने सुना था तो फ्रीडम फाइट जब हमारा चल रहा था फॉर इंडिपेंडेंस तो एक बहुत बड़े लेवल के उस टाइम के अनाज किराना के व्यापारी थे तो ही वॉज ऑल्सो लीडर इन फ्रीडम फाइट तो उसके उनके बेट उनका बेटा भी इसमें एक्टिव था जब ब्रिटिश रूल था तो उसको आ, कुछ उसकी ये एंटी ब्रिट जो ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट के खिलाफ एक्टिविटीज होती थी उसमें पकड़ के उसको जेल में डाल दिया गया तो एक दिन मतलब वो इतने स्वमानी थे कि अपने बेटे को मिलने गए नहीं कभी जेल में दो वो एफर्ट उस उतना उनका लिंक था कि अपने बेटे को जेलर को बोल के मिल सके कि मेरे बेटे का कंडीशन क्या है जेल में कैसे वो लाइफ अपनी बिता रहा है तो तीन महीने के बाद उनको लगा कि चलो मैं मेरे बेटे को मिलने जाऊं जेल में क्या उसकी हालत है तो गए और जेल में उनको मिले तो उनका बेटा सीधा ही उनको मिल रोने ही लगा बहुत रोया कि उन्होंने पूछा भाई क्या हुआ बेटा तो बत, बताया कि मेरे को आज बहुत इतना खराब सपना आया रात को कि मैं अपने आप को इतना गिल्टी फील कर रहा हूं मैं माफ नहीं कर पाऊंगा तो बोले क्या हुआ तो बता तो उसने बताया कि मैंने आज सपने में मेरी मदर का मेरी माँ का मैंने खून कर दिया मर्डर किया ऐसा मेरे को सपना आया तो अभी मैं ये सपने में भी मेरे को कैसे ऐसा मैं बुरा सपना आ सकता है तो उसने अपने पापा को बताया उसके फादर बहुत लर्नेड और एक्सपीरियंस व्यापारी थे उन्होंने सोचा कि कुछ तो इसके रूट में मेरे को जाना चाहिए तो फिर उन्होंने पूरे उसका डेली जो उसका जेल में रहने का उसका जो शेड्यूल था उसका स्टडी किया कि ये किसके साथ रहता है किसके साथ समय बिताता है क्या एक्टिविटी करता है तो धीरे धीरे जब वो रूट में पहुंचे तो उनको मतलब सारे लोगों को मिले फिर वो जहाँ रसोई बनता था उसका कुकिंग तो वहाँ जेल में तो यही है जो प्रिजनर से वही खाना बनाते तो जो कुक था उसको पूछा उन्होंने कि आप किस वजह से जेल में आए हो 
तो उसने बताया कि मैंने मेरी माँ का मर्डर किया था तो ये बहुत बड़ा एग्जाम्पल है जब उसका जब वो रोटी बना रहा है तो उसका इमोशन उसका थॉट वो है जो कि उसमें ट्रांसफर हुआ और वो जिसने खाया उसमें भी आया तो ये इतना बड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट हम जो आप हम सब लोग सुबह से बात कर रहे हैं वेजिटेरियनिज्म का तो इतना फूड का और फूड बनाने वाले का इमोशंस उसमें इम्पोर्टेंट है तो हम जो ज्वेलरी बनाते हैं हर रोज जो आनापन सती मेडिटेशन होता है उसके बाद हम एक प्रार्थना करते हैं हमारा एवरी डे मॉर्निंग कंपनी में टेन ओ क्लॉक प्रेयर से चालू होता है फिर आनापन सती आफ्टरनून और द डे एंड्स विद द नेशनल एंडम ऑल सिक्स थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉज तो तो आनापान सती के बाद हम एक प्रार्थना करते हैं कि हम जो डायमंड बनाते हैं वो डायमंड जो जिसने बनाया है जो माइनिंग से निकला है उनका भला हो जो ज्वेलरी उनका भी भला हो तो ये इमोशंस हम डेली प्रार्थना करते हैं कि हमारा जो डायमंड पहने उसका भी भला हो बहुत छोटी चीज देखने को मिलती है लेकिन 97 में जब कंपनी का वन सी आर करोड़ का टर्न था तब से लेके आज चौदह हजार करोड़ का टर्न है फिर भी इसके पीछे ये जो वैल्यूज है ये जो हमारा भाव है ये जो इमोशन हम डालते हैं प्रेयर करते हैं इसका बहुत बड़ा रिजल्ट मिलता है तो मैं हमारे जो चेयरमैन है उन्होंने छह सात बार भी प्रश्ना शिविर किए सबको प्रमोट करते हैं तो आप एक बीच में तो पीएमसी का एक टीम आया था सूरत विजिट किया था हमारा कंपनी जब भी आप आओगे तो वी हैव पुट ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड ऑल दीज वैल्यूज इन प्रैक्टिस सो दिस इज द स्टोरी और गवर्नमेंट में मैं राहू तो हाउ कैन मेडिटेशन हेल्प उसके आफ्टर माई विपसना शिविर आई गेट टू रियलाइज दैट नथिंग स्टॉप्स हमारी वजह से कहीं कुछ अटकता नहीं है दुनिया चलती रहती है लेकिन जब गवर्नमेंट में आपने सबने फील किया होगा कि आप किसी ऑफिसर को मिलते हो कि कहीं सरकारी दफ्तर जाते हो तो उतना पॉजिटिव एनवायरनमेंट आपको देखने को नहीं मिलता है तो अगर कोई इससे जुड़ा ऑफिसर है जो विपसना या अनापान सती मेडिटेशन इसकी फिलोसॉफी को समझा है तो उसका पॉजिटिव रहने में बहुत अच्छा हेल्प मिल जाता है उसके जो चैलेंजेस है पॉलिटिकल चैलेंजेस है उससे रिफ्ले उसको न कि रिएक्ट करे उसके ऊपर एक्ट करे तो ये मैंने अपने आप में सीखा था आफ्टर द विपसना मेडिटेशन so dire dire i am getting into meditation uh, thanks to my wife she is sitting in the audience to unse uske sath main dire dire jud raha hu so this is the journey of ours aur hamara jo experience hai thank you thank you so lot of things you have already heard from nitin ji i could take last two points thank your wife and you know from where you have to buy diamonds all ladies With because all emotions are there in those diamonds. <laughs> with with discount. Gujarat sir is saying with discount. <laughs> yeah. हम गुजराती हैं तो हमारा promote तो कर ही देंगे व्यापार. हमको इतने customer तो मिलते. So you will get with discount. You know. Now he is there for next two days. You can you know whom to catch. So uh, with this definitely I think uh, with the inspiration, uh, with the listening, what we have listened today, whether Lawrence, Ramesh ji, Nitin ji, I think. Uh, what in morning also we heard it's the people who drive meditation in organization we are already we are running short of time so while i had one or two or more questions but i think we are running short of time i will have one liner from all three of you and then i'll close and one liner is if you can suggest some way the way you have implemented in your corporate how it can be implemented in a larger sense in a larger stream of scheme of things so with this i will have to finish because uh, we can go on but we are already late in time so with this i will go to first ramesh ji then lawrence you and then uh, nitin ji ramesh ji hmm oh. so what uh, chandra ji is saying what in your what from your experience what you will do to make the change see uh, uh business is a commercial organization before introducing i uh, i mean i wanted to mention here that in our corporate office also uh, between by 2 o'clock all the lights are switched off 
all the phones are off and 2 to 2.30 we play the track of Chandraji. All colleagues who are in their position, they do the meditation. Then 2.30 again we resume the work. So before starting that half an hour to my colleagues, I was thinking that half an hour will go waste. So many man hours into so many thousands. So much money. And all that I was calculating and hesitating to implement that. Then I happened to meet one of the first members. He was a shop floor engineer. You think that people are working all the eight hours? No. They only work for two hours. By putting half an hour of meditation, they work for four hours. They are stupid by not allowing them to meditate for half an hour. Immediately I started implementing. It's almost close to nine months now. So we have seen a lot of good changes. And the output of them is gone up. There are people who... पर कभी कभी ना हो दिक्कत जैसे वो बोल रहे थे कि यहाँ अगर होगा ना तो कट जाएगा ये बीच पे है ना अंदर इसलिए नहीं कट whatever has happened in the work to home and again creating that kind of negative or whatever uneasy environment at home people are saying नमस्कार स्वागत है आप सभी का आपके आपके साथ half an hour meditation hello PMC में मैं हूँ आपके साथ नमस्ते एक और लगा दूँ half day so there's a lot of physical level and at a psychological focus output I have seen great change and I am no, no more thinking of that half an hour is gone, so much money is gone and all that. It's really helping them at a personal level and at organization, both the friends. So, what I would say is, don't think like me that half an hour, one hour, what you invest, it will go waste. Start implementing and you will see the benefit. Not only for your organization, but personal level. That is a very easy method. Improve. करने का पैरों को क्रॉस करिए हाथों को हाथों में हाथ उंगलियों में उंगलियां और आंखों को बंद कर दीजिए लॉरेंस ओवर टू यू पर ध्यान दें थैंक्स सिर्फ उसको very large organization like IBM I knew as a senior executive that you need to define some success factors or some measurements that will convince you know, the, the most senior so management, of course, the company, uh, to continue to scale the practice of mindfulness and meditation. In my case, uh, we had, uh, and we still have an IBM Global Employee uh, Satisfaction Survey. And, um, and so I wanted to show that first, for instance, for this acquisition, we would overachieve the targets, which we did. And that, uh, as part of the leadership team of IBM, I could prove to my colleagues on the global uh, satisfaction. Uh, so I was in the top best in the world. We achieved. So it's not just me; it's also my leaders. So it's how do you make proof? How do you make proof? Uh, business proof, as well as, of course, moral uh, and employee satisfaction proof that uh, that it's working and it's valued. Uh, to uh, to scale in the organization. The second uh, advice and something we practice is to create programs, formal programs. As you said, uh, you know, daily uh, people can join to meditate uh, or uh, weekly uh, and people can join. And so you have uh, multiple leaders uh, attending and uh, it's a place for meditating and also uh, you know, sharing. The third advice is uh, to find uh, allies, partners inside the company. And as a leader and a meditator, uh, you go and search for people who have the same uh, passion for it. And I found people in uh, human resources, uh, in a CSR activity. And so with them, we were able to create a program you know, for the broader IBM. For instance, include uh, mindfulness education program for leaders, which was a series of, uh, you know, 10 videos and, uh, and of course, scripts and so on. Uh, and it was inserted into the education program uh, of IBM, the formal one. So anybody would go on this site, uh, the formal IBM education programs would find it. So that was a way to scale. So everywhere we could insert mindfulness and meditation as a facilitator for new skills like communication skills. Uh, we were trying to do it. And then to scale even further, we uh, partner with uh, universities like Oxford, okay, in the UK, or, um, you know, we, we inserted uh, 
uh, education, mindfulness education, to create university, joint university program that Oxford would deliver inside IBM. Okay, so there was a good partnership to get certificates and so on, but it was also spreading, you know, the, I would say the, the story of the IBM uh, mindfulness. Uh, we also uh, inserted, uh, IBM was sponsoring, for instance, a P-Tech initiative, which was to help young uh, people to get in the workforce with uh, technical skills. And we inserted uh, mindfulness as a module as part of this uh, huge uh, initiative of IBM. And finally, IBM uh, a few years ago, from two years ago, divided in two. So 90,000 people went to a company, a services company named Kindrill, which is made mostly present also in, in India. And now in this company, uh, I was in global services, there is a mindfulness leader. So uh, it's also to convince the management with all of these stories that it was worse in a new company to attract new talent, to show that we had the soft skill uh, focus and, uh, and attracting young uh, new talent. So there are many ways uh, to apply this. Uh, and of course, you have to meditate to get all this energy to get that done. Thank, Thank you, you, Lawrence. Thank you. I think clearly being an entrepreneur-driven organization, Amiji said, just do it. In a multinational like IBM or Microsoft or some things like, you have to find right partners, right sponsors, set systems, uh, run programs, and it will run for long. Thanks, Lawrence, for this last Nitinji, your word. Sure. I'm also on the same line. Uh, what I've learned or from the limited experience I have is कहने वाले को कोई सुनता नहीं है अपना बेटा भी नहीं मेरा बेटा भी मेरी नहीं सुनता है अगर मैं उसको बोलूं कि बेटा ऐसे रहो वो मेरे को देख के ही सीखता है जो मैं करता हूं वही वो सेम टू सेम करेगा तो थैंक्स ऑल द लीडर्स आइदर दे बी इन कॉर्पोरेट और गवर्नेंस और एनीवेयर लीडर्स जो करेंगे वही उनके फॉलोअर्स उनके एम्प्लॉइज करेंगे सो दिस इज द फोरम कि सारे लीडर्स सीईओ जो अपने आप मेडिटेशन करेंगे उनको देख के उनको जो रिजल्ट मिला है तो अपने आप एम्प्लॉई फॉलो करेंगे हमारे जो छः हजार सात हजार एम्प्लॉई है जो चेयरमैन हम वी कॉल इम काका लविंगली सो वो जो करते वो सब करने लगते हैं उनको क्योंकि वो खुद करके दिखाते हैं तो जस्ट स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग इट सलाह देने वाले को कोई नहीं सुनता है कहने वाले को कोई नहीं सुनता है करने वाले को और सहकार देने वाले को सब सुनते हैं so that's the one line up. thank you thanks i think he summed it up and he said that if we that's why there is so much energy in this room because we are all meditators so once we do it people will follow and that's our main motto that we have to spread across to as many people as it is possible so that we this this strength this energy this society which we are living as a meditator society will grow thanks all of you for listening